This particular flight here, my milliamp hour meter is calibrated. It's within less than 1% of being off. It's actually within two tenths of 1% accuracy. I've got it dialed in that close. I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. Hi everybody, Mike here, thanks for watching. So let's talk about this and figure something out here. The way you calibrate your amp meter, you start out with a full pack, you make sure you record all these OSD elements or you record the data some other way, and there are other ways to do that, but we won't talk about that in this video. And at the end of the flight, you look at how much milliamps were used. In this case, the battery used up about 5,190 milliamp hours. When you go back home, you charge your battery and you need one of these intelligent smart chargers. This will show you how much power is being put back into the pack, how many milliamps. And when you charge the battery, when it's all charged, you write this number down and you record it. In this example here of May of 2021, I'm using a 6,000 rated pack. The screen told me that I used 54, 52 amps, but when I recharged it, it only put 53 in, 5307. So something was slightly off. When you go into Betaflight Configurator for the power, there's an indicator scale here that you need to take a look at. This is your adjustment factor that is used to dial in and adjust the amp meter. You're gonna move this number up and down until, until the actual amps used equals the amount of amps that's recharged. The goal is to change this scale number up and down until you find the happy figure that makes them all equate. In this particular case, I did this flight, it was 162. I actually used 5452 per the OSD, but the charger said I put 5307 back in. There's a formula that you do here, is you take the old scale number, multiply it times, the top number, the numerator, amount of amps per your OSD screen, divided by what your charger told you was reloaded. What you end up with is a new factor, a new scale number, and you modify that into the beta flight settings, put that number in, and then do another test flight. What you need to do is you need to do this sort of test several times over several flights, moving this scale number, this amperage scale number, until you get some consistency. And it takes a little trial and error, and you'll dial it in to where, where the amounts of the recharge is pretty close to the amount that the OSD screen told you during the flight. In this particular case, it took me about four or five attempts at it to get it where I had some stability. My milliamp hour meter is calibrated. It's within less than 1% of being off. Is that this particular flight here, all my meters are calibrated and they're working just right. I'm at just under three volts per cell and I'm at 5,000 milliamp hours consumed. And this is exactly where I should be. I know that my indicators are pretty accurate and I can trust them. And that's the goal of this whole exercise. And if you change props, you gotta do this all over again. If you change batteries, you need to do this all over again. Recently, I changed GoPros. I put a heavier GoPro on and I also put on a different VTX which draws more power, and I noticed my amp meter didn't seem right. It didn't look like the number was right from my experience, so I went back and I recalibrated everything, did a couple of test flights. Now I've got it dialed in, and now I feel comfortable making those long-range flights, and I won't land short of power. Anyways, thanks for watching.